Piper Ann Lowry was born September 10th, 2003, and she died on January 16th, 2016 at the age of 12 from influenza A, H1N1. On January 12th, Piper had a fever and I had um, had some really high fevers myself. So we went to urgent care. Um, I was tested for influenza and it came back positive. Uh, Piper did not want to be tested because she was scared and her brother was tested as negative. So with her symptoms, they figured she had influ influenza just like me. Um, we were both given um, uh, Tamiflu. Um, I had previously already had prednisone and antibiotics um, from a lung infection. And I it was getting better as the days went on um, and my fever finally had broke. The highest that we had was 105.5. Uh, Piper's fever continued and she didn't feel good where I was getting better. And on Thursday the 14th, we went back to urgent care since her doctor's office was closed and they figured that she might have pneumonia. So they uh, prescribed her antibiotic, even though her lung x-rays were clear. Um, she had a little raspiness in her chest um, and she didn't feel good. She complained that her legs were weak and um, her sides hurt her. And so we went first, got that antibiotic and came home. She still was suffering with 103 temperatures. And then Friday morning, um, my son went back to school and I called her pediatrician because we needed new inhalers for her, for her asthma. So we went into her office and, um, you know, she tested, she could, she knew she didn't feel good. She looked like she didn't feel good. And she was still running um, about 101 temperature on Friday morning. And so we um, got prednisone added onto her um, regime with medicines. And uh, she told us, you know, she wasn't better within the next 24 to 48 hours to take her to Mary Bridge Hospital. Um, so Friday we got the prednisone filled and uh, Friday night was rough. She was very restless. She didn't feel good, um, and she cuddled with me most of the night. And um, then Saturday morning, she said her stomach hurt her really bad, and she started coughing, and I didn't know exactly what it was. I thought maybe it was the chocolate pudding she had. And um, then I said, Piper, let me go get a napkin, and it was blood clots. I said, Piper, we got to go to Mary Bridge right now. Um, we got to get going here. And she says, oh, they're not going to put an IV in my arm. I said, no pipes. They won't do that. They're just going to, they're going to check you out and make sure you're okay. And so we got ready and my husband carried her downstairs because she said her legs were too weak. And we got in the car and um, me and her went because my husband said, oh, you're going to be okay and I'll be over in just a little bit. And so we drove and it's about a 45 minute drive and we talked. We talked about music because she loved to sing. And um, we got to Mary Bridge, and I pulled into the parking garage, got out, and went around to her side. She got out, and she said, oh, Mama, and she collapsed in my arms. And I screamed for help, for someone to help me. And these people came and rushed and helped pull her off of me, and there was blood coming out of her nose. And so they helped me carry her into the Mary Bridge, and... Um, all the doctors, they worked tirelessly on her. And at first, they were going to call it her um, at 10.05, and then they got another pulse. So they worked on her for about three hours. Um, and then uh, there was no more after that, and so she was pronounced dead at 12.23. She died of acute renal failure. Uh, complications from influenza A, H1N1. It took her so suddenly, and it was a silent killer. And uh, she was our baby. She was our baby. We waited 12 years to have her. She was in vitro. She was everything to us. And she is missed so much. 
I love you, Piper. Yeah. Piper Ann Lowry was born September 10th, 2003, and she died on January 16th, 2016, at the age of 12 from influenza A, H1N1. On January 12th, Piper had a fever, and I had um, had some really high fevers myself.